Hey pretty pretties, thanks for tuning in today for this um, ruby red lips tutorial. I'll be talking you through how to do this um, natural eye look and apply the red lip. Um, there's a lot of how to the perfect red lip videos um, um, by other YouTubers uh, which are good to watch as well. Um, I've used the... whoops. 28 neutral palette. All the colours I've used are from it, so I think that's a really good one to have. I love it. Um, but if you don't, then just pick shades that are similar and suit your skin tone. Um, I think that's about it, so let's get the tutorial started. Alright, so first start priming with Urban Decay. No need to go under the lid because we won't be adding eyeshadow there. I'll be putting this shadow here all over the lid right up to the brow. Um, then I'll be taking this one and then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. So I'm just going to get a pretty big fluffy brush. Get that first shadow. All this is really doing on my skin tone is just evening out the colour of my lid. Okay, now I'm going to get the second colour and go over the, um, the lid up to the brow bone. Well, so really all this shadow does is just um, add some depth, I suppose, like some contouring in the crease and stuff like that. So, alright. Next, I'm going to take this brown and go into the crease in the outer third with that in sort of a V shape. And then um, this one is going to go into the crease on top of that. So this is just a smaller, um, fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is a really good palette for these kind of looks. There's so many colours. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, it would, um, you'd be able to achieve it neutral eye on any skin tone with these colours. They're really nice. And then I've got this colour. So that's the one I first put all over the lid up to the brow bone. Now I'm going to take this one. It's a bit darker. And just go in there a little bit with that. And lastly, the lightest colour in the palette, the one right in the corner. And just tap your brush into that. You just want it on, yeah, see that bit of your brush and just right in the corner there. Now I'm going to take a white eyeliner pencil and line the waterline. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and um, do mascara. This is CoverGirl Lash Blast. This is um, brown black. If you, for a neutral eye, I like to do um, use not a true black um, mascara because my lashes aren't truly black. Um, if yours are, then I suppose you should use a black one. Alrighty. I'm just going to apply my foundation and then we're back for the main event, the red lips. Hello, back with foundation. Um, I've just noticed I have a bit of redness underneath my eyes on either side, which I didn't do a great job of concealing, um, but I think it's from irritation from my makeup remover wipes that I was using earlier and I've never had a problem before, so I think it's from me sort of scrubbing to um, 
get my makeup off from earlier. So just a note from my mum, you only get one chance with your eyes. So just be really gentle with them. Even if you're using like a product for sensitive skin or something, your eyes are super, super fragile. So just be careful. Love you, mum. Okay, so now for the lips. I put foundation on my lips when I did my face, but I didn't want to... Um, have it on there underneath my lip product because I um, sometimes it makes it a bit cakey but I got just a cotton bud and like wet the end of it and just rolled it over the top to get that off so now I'm going to go in with this red Australis lip liner and Ha <laughs> lip lining is hilarious by itself, but it's no joke. Don't go out like this. Um, also, I'm going to fill that in because that will keep the lipstick stuck. I've gone around the corners of my mouth with a lip liner as well because you don't want to be, I mean, you don't want to be a clown, but you don't want to have like top lip and then bottom lip. You want them to be one sort of. Now for lipstick, um, I've got one by Natio or Natio. Let's go with Natio. Um, it's Ruby. So I'm going to take that and a lip brush. Me. And just over the top of um, the lip liner. I love this, it's so red. I don't really like reds on me that have blue undertones. This one's like more yellow than blue, I suppose, which I really like. I don't like when pinks try to be red. All right, so that's that done. Uh, also, what is pretty is... Um, highlighting your cupid's bow there so I'm gonna take which one um, this really light one in the corner and just a tiny bit on my finger I don't think you can even tell and also a tad down the sides there I know if you can tell, but try it out at home and you'll be able to um, see. A gold eyeshadow is really pretty as well. Um, I really love wearing red lips, but whenever I do, I get paranoid that I'm going to get lipstick teeth. So if you're going out, have your friends on lipstick on teeth patrol because that's such a shame. Yeah, it's not cool. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Um, I hope you like it. Um, I really like this look because... Um, it's like really glamorous but it's not actually that much makeup um, like the eye looks quite natural and then you just got this guy and and then you're ready to go and you're looking like you tried really hard um, maybe be a bit more careful with your lipstick application than that but um, keep it inside the lines uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and keep checking out for um, more videos.